community. Oh, don't leave me. <laughs> Where are you going? Doesn't want to be on going? camera today. Where are you going? All right. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Everybody's mad at you. I know. I've been through this before. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. I'm going to be fine. I just got to make it to Monday. And um, somebody said that I don't. pain doesn't come with C. diff. The reason I'm having the pain is because I have the dry heaves because I can't throw up since I've had my gastro sleeve surgery. So I have those pains. Plus, I think I have kidney stones and I'm having kidney pains. So that's why I'm in so much pain. Mm -hmm. So, and the nausea is just unbearable. So, I have a few things going on. Yeah. What are you doing? <sighs> Wherever I am, Boomer is three inches away. Actually, Boomer was biting my nose this morning. Well. <laughs> what do you want? The camera was on. <laughs> you can't get to my mouth, can you? Neener, neener, neener. <laughs> so thank you all for your concern I'm gonna be fine I just gotta I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and call my doctor and try and get in to see my doctor yep cause if I go to urgent care they're just gonna run test after test after test and charge us a whole lot of money and then they're gonna tell me uh, take this antibiotic and follow up with your doctor. <laughs> and we tried to get him to just give it to us last night, but it didn't happen. So. Yeah, that's because it was just a nurse and she can't write prescriptions. Right. So, so, the reason why we do this, unfortunately, we've been through this so many times with these doctors that, uh, you know, um, we, we will, when, there has been times that we have gone to urgent care with, with Val, and she had uh, severe stomach pains. And um, at some point, they decided that she was uh, a hypochondriac. And they treat her like a hypochondriac. Now, I don't know what's in her records. They claim that there isn't anything. But it's, we, there was a time that we went to urgent care often, and they decided she was uh, only there for uh, pain meds. And uh, they just stopped treating her, refused to treat her. In fact, she's, we'd been lectured, we were lectured a couple of times. We were actually told one time that if I was there for the same exact thing and they found, found nothing wrong, that they were going to charge us. Uh huh. So, what ended up happening eventually, of course, is she went to get her gastric sleeve done, and the doctor there discovered that her stomach was um, covered in. Uh, adhesions. adhesions and scar tissue that was wrapped around the bottom of her stomach and was strangulating the bottom of her stomach. Now we had told the doctors that this was a possibility because we had been through that before. They were unwilling to do anything because that cost money that they didn't want to do. So instead they simply t decided that Val was a hypochondriac. And I was only there for pain meds all the time. Right. So. And we went to our doctor with that information, and uh, he understands. I don't know if he got it into our records, but every time we go to urgent care, it's it's the, oh, it's her again uh, reaction, and we don't get anything done. So I, I had the same responses. I don't know if this is something that they do all the time, but uh, we... Uh, I, I hate going to urgent care as well. Our, our doctor knows us and will treat us appropriately. Urgent care will treat the both of us uh, like hypochondriacs or drug addicts. Is it boring? Oh my goodness. Yes.
It's pouring. <laughs> All right. So this has gone a little long. Give you an idea of what we're going through. Uh, Val, Val um, will get the medication she needs for this, but we're not going to do it at urgent care. We'll probably get it tomorrow from our doctor. Yeah. All right. So it just poured down. It just stopped. So we're just getting a little tiny rain showers. I'm surprised we're not getting uh, thunder and lightning too. But boy, it was that heavy. I had to break out the umbrella to get to the car, but now it stopped. And I see blue skies on the horizon, so this may be over. Who knows, though. It doesn't usually rain here past April. So, rain in May is very unusual. But things are changing. You never know what's going to happen right now. So I'm on my way to my mother's. She doesn't um, like to drive in the, the rain, and I'm going to take her to lunch, get something for Val to eat, and then uh, we'll do a little shopping. And that's about, oh, I'll probably get done today because of everything that's going on. Cool thing is, uh, since it rained today, tomorrow I'll be able to go out to the yard and um, uh, pull up a the weeds that have grown since the last time I weeded. Uh, I have some fertilizer and some uh, seeds. I will fertilize the lawn and seed the bald spots and uh, hopefully we'll have a nicer looking lawn within a month. So that'd be nice. Hello, Hello everybody. I got From Jonah. Hey neighbors, sometimes when I get to spill neighbors, I it ends up looking like neighbors with the with the U. Because I'm too Canadian. Laugh out loud. I hope you enjoy this SpongeBob magic marker artwork. I can't remember if it was me or Jesse who colored it, but we both signed it. Have a good day. We love you, Jonah and Jesse. And they sent me a card. No? Ooh. And they sent me a SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I love it. So I've got a cat sleeping on me, so we're not going to be doing our normal closer together, so we're waving at each other from across the room. Hello over there. <laughs> Hello. Well, everybody, we're going to call it a night because, well, it's late and we're tired. <laughs> That's why you call it a night. Mm hmm And we hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen on our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite, a share. Please leave us a comment. And please subscribe. And we shall see you all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now. Bye. 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 Say bye. Say bye.